So I wanted to show you a zero gravity in Borderlands 2 and you can see that really you can make it even by yourself and I wanted to talk about really more about the Borderlands the pre-sequel because I think they should have made it a little more more original because it is really similar similar to the Borderlands 2 and it is using the same game engine, same weaponry, you can see the return of the Harald bitch and some other weaponry. You can see that we again have a legendary class modes and have some enemies that are floating around because of the zero gravity. But as you can see it is not that hard to make zero gravity in Borderlands 2 even for us gamers. And because of that I think that they should have made something else, made something else in this game. Of course you will have more enemies, that is more types of enemies, new vehicles to ride. But I think that they didn't have that much of a job. Maybe only with figuring out the new skills for new characters. That's really my favorite part that they did. But I think that they should have made it a little more original than they did but still I'm really happy for the Borderlands the Pre-Sequel uh, and I will play it but I just wanted to share with you that I just think that they should have made it a little better and uh, again I will say I heard that the price prices for us gamers are just too much because the Borderlands 2 wasn't that high priced and the Borderlands the pre-sequel will be, will be with pre-ordering $60 and really we get really really same game as the Borderlands 2 if we got a new game that is if we got Borderlands 3 $60 would be really low price but for the Borderlands the pre-sequel I think that it is a too much to ask from the developers because they didn't put that much of an effort in in this game so I hope you enjoyed this video and if you share my opinions please let me know in the comments below and if you don't again let me know in the comments and tell me what did I say wrong for Borderlands the pre-sequel.